Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode on the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I'm going to take you throughout one of the most amazing castles that I've ever filmed on this channel. It's a 17th century castle from a family that has been inside for more than 300 years. But unfortunately, six years ago, the father of the family, the last owner of this place, passed away and the lights turned off forever. I'm gonna take you today on a full tour throughout this place, show you all the museum pieces and artifacts that are left behind in here. And the things that are left behind in here are by far the most valuable and historical that I've ever found on this channel. And especially for this occasion I thought, let's dress up like somebody that used to live in a place like this. Regency, Napoleon time, Napoleon Bonaparte. This is an 18th century attire that I'm wearing today. And this is an attire that the people that once used to live in these places wear every single day. So let me show you around this magnificent castle. Let's go on a tour of the lives of the people that once used to inhabit this place. If these walls could talk, I wonder what stories they would tell. An unforeseen amount of artifacts and 300 years of family history have been locked up inside of this place six years ago and forever forgotten about. Let us take you into the most pristine abandoned castle in the entire world. So the first room that we are going to film here today was the working room, the bureau of the people. And as you can see over here, we have the desk where the man once used to conduct all the business of the castle. The last owner of this place was in his day-to-day -day life, a doctor and a farmer. Not a regular farmer, he was a wine farmer. He had numerous fields around the castle that he all produced wine with and sold it. He was a very, very rich man. 
His grandfathers had fought on his grandfather. All were politicians, high-ranking politicians, and they even took part in the Napoleon Bonaparte and the Parisian Parliament. The first artifacts that we can see over here were from the man that he was a collector. He collected these different types of coins, as you can see. And also wonderful artworks. You can see here a woodcrafted artwork of Jesus Christ. Stones left over here. We're going to see so many very, very valuable artifacts in this place. It's just going to be crazy. These statues are probably worth thousands and thousands of dollars. All left here. Oh, I already broke one. Excuse me. <laughs> we have an African statue over here. And then behind the desk, there are numerous books left behind. And these were all literature books about the Renaissance time, Napoleon time, Paris, Paris. I think this is all from Versailles. Yes, this, these are all pictures of the castle of Versailles in this book. One of the most beautiful castles in the entire world. Let's put this back nicely and let's go further. I love this lamp that we have here to the side of an eagle on a marble statue, as you can see. And there's even used to be an oil lamp down below. It's standing on this beautiful side table underneath here with a marble top and craftings all around it. Wow. All the paintings and pictures on the wall. This one is from 1900. 61. 1961. They was a lover of different kinds of art styles. We have here Japanese art style. You can see it from the writing on the side. And this is like abstract, a bit more abstract art. I have to be careful because there's so many artifacts in here. Abstract art. And this is just normal artworks. Wow. And then here on the drawer, there are so many different types of statues left behind. And they look like all African artworks. We even have a few teeth of a hyena or something, some sort of animal left behind. Wonderful pieces, everybody. Wonderful pieces. I love the turtle here as well. Quite fascinating. And this one is again also completely filled. And this was an accountancy desk that we have here in front of us. It was used by the people to count their money on. And you see these a lot in very, very expensive places in France. A wonderful oil lantern next to it. And this one is actually worked into the table if you look closely at it. You can see it's just completely made for this table. Go blau here, then you can see it better. Even deer, sheep crafted in the sides. Wow. More artworks all over there. Above the door, we got an enormous painting. And as well, these people that once lived here were also very, very religious. You can see lots of religious artifacts. Oh, excuse me. These are expense notes from the people. Two million francs, it says on here. Two million francs. Oh my God. That would be an enormous amount of money. And it says over here, Dr. Glaze. Dr. Glaze. So this might have been the former owner of this place. Dr. Glaze. Above there, even more artworks. I love this piece. This was a fire screen 
that you would put in front of the fireplace to protect you a little bit from the heat, but to also cover up the fireplace when it was not in use. Oh, this is an amazing mirror, right? Yes. Oh my God, I really love this one. It's also so, so unique to see a painting above a mirror. They, that's just worked into it. I just love it, especially made for this piece. If you come a little bit closer, you can see a woman giving a man a hand on the field. They're probably in love. Gold plating to the side of here and numerous more of these artifacts on the stove. Here you can see the fire screen in action. It's standing in front of the stove. Wonderful stove. And there's even a crest in the stove worked into there. Wow. More paintings and artworks on the walls. I'm looking at this one. It's a young child with a spoon or something like that in her hand. Wonderful expression. And then we come into a sitting room, a very special sitting room. This was most likely the religious corner of the house. You can see this enormous rock depicting an old school landscape. Probably in the Sahara somewhere, maybe in Egypt or in Israel, because it's a very religious rock hanging here behind. Oh, I'm gonna sit down for a moment. There's so much things on here. All around the room, there are religious artifacts dispersed. As you can see, statues. And I love this one. It's three faces worked into here. And back in the day, maybe a bust, a bust would be standing on here. Or a vase or something like that. And here in this room, the person used to watch television. I can see him sitting in here with his special attire on, just working and after work watching television. A monk. In Belgium, we still have lots of monks that brew beer for us. Look at this one here on the wall. There's a boy holding a cross with Maria. And then we have one last mirror. Oh no, it's not a mirror. More. Even paintings on the floor because they had no place anymore to put them. That's how rich these people were. Let me now take you further through the castle and show you the other rooms that we have not seen yet. Wow. It's like truly walking through a museum when you go into this castle. The first thing I see here in the hallway is this magnificent chandelier hanging from the ceiling. And here on the wall, we also have a statue, a wood carved statue that's now deteriorating and the termites are taking it over. You can see all the little holes in there. If you look closely, it's just sand to see a piece like this deteriorate. If you come over here, you can see the entire hallway with all the paintings on the wall. Wow. And that's gonna lead us up later to the top floors and also to the basements of this castle. But first, in front of us here, we have another room. Wow. This is such an amazing place. The first thing that catches my eye in this room is this enormous bookcase with thousands and thousands of books spanning to the ceiling left behind. Wow, this is an even grander bureau area. Look at this. On the table, there's some sort of a telescope left behind. What a beautiful piece. I don't think it functions anymore and don't know how it functions, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Look at all these artifacts. A little box with a marble carved top where you would most likely store your jewelry inside. All the keys to the castle 
are left in here. And this booklet, it's just like how the people left it behind. And they're left behind this amazing place. Right behind you, turn around. We have another one of those amazingly big rugs, rugs on the wall that depicts again one of those Egyptian, Israeli landscapes. Wonderful piece. Also has very nice color on there. Love it, how it's made. Here on the side table, we have a statue. Take a look at this clock. This clock face is just amazing. It has two depictions, one in Roman time and one in normal time. As you can see, one, three, five, one, two, and there it goes. And there used to be a candle in here. And I think the clock face would, be, would have been lit up with the candle. And there is even a bell at the top. And this part moves to the side to ring that bell. A cross, a necklace from somebody that once lived here. You can see this hat. I'm not going to take it off the wall. But this was used most likely to go to Africa to hunt. We, got, we already saw lots of African artifacts throughout this place. And that hat might have been used for that. Wow, so many different things to look at it in this place. This box catches my eye. Most likely it also stored to store some artifacts in there. Okay. We can see all the diplomas of the person, the doctorate diploma, maybe politics diploma, all on the wall here. Wow. Diploma the doctor or medicine. Diploma the doctor or medicine 1958, 1904. 1904. So this might have been his father. Let's see. Glaze, Glaze. No, they have the same name. Okay, that's very strange. Interesting. We have a, a drawing of somebody and above there a decaying painting on the wall. I have not pointed out any of the chairs that we see in this place, in this place but this one is just a magnificent upholstery chair. And here we have the glasses of somebody left behind. And underneath it, this what we see here, is a photo album. But it's completely empty, unfortunately. Another enormously big bookcase. To the side of it, we have more diplomas down below. The bachelor, oh, this is a, a diploma for politics. And that's also directed to Glare, the man that once lived here. Wow. See one outside, most likely not of this castle. Wonderful. Paintings all around the room. You can see a man over there at the top. But these over here, they intrigue me the most. 1903, I'm right. And this is a picture of the grandfathers of this place, the politicians that ruled over the Parisian parliament. Very, very influential people. And this was Mr. Glare himself, smoking a pipe. Things can go fast. If he got his diploma in 1950, he most likely was around 80 years old when he passed away. Assuming that you would get your doctorate a diploma at 27, 28 years old, and then plus uh, 70 years. He must have been almost 100 years old, this man. That is crazy. Wow. Don't know what this device is. Ophthalmology. Ophthalmology. No, I'm not a doctor, so I can't help you with that. And here we have more artifacts stored. Oh, 
Oh, I, I didn't notice this one. Look up there. Somebody has raised his hand in some sort of a Second World War greeting. It's crazy. Oh yes, and over here, there's also a tank left behind. That, that's linked to it, I think, in some way. Wow, so many things. Okay, let's go to the next room, everybody. And here we enter into the museum room of this house. The grand display area. I'm just looking at it, but I don't know if this was the front door, but I'm not sure about that. But come over here. Watch out because they, all these tiles on the floor are loose. When you are standing in front of this one, this display cabinet, it looks like you're wandering through a museum. This must be such a valuable artifact that's left in here. A hand carved religious and there's even some diamonds in the top if you look closely wow above this piece we have this incredible chandelier hanging and being i don't know where to start in this room i just don't know but i'm gonna start on this side and go all the way around they loved hand carved pieces of uh, statues but unfortunately, again, this one has also completely been consumed by termites. It has the spraying beads all around it. Look at these papers here on the wall. They seem like they are thousands of years old. Crazy to see. Even more on this side. Oh, they are crumbling away. Some wood pieces to that side. And above the door, we have a depiction of a beautiful French landscape with a castle on top. And I forgot to point out that there's also casually a spare in the corner of the room. <laughs> there. Seems to be nothing in here. So I'm gonna close that up. They put this statue of the child on the wall. I'm trying to close the cabinet while you're filming that. Okay. Here we see a depiction of another castle. Unfortunately, it's again not the outside of this one. I would have loved to see a drawing or a depiction of this castle. Another landscape above there. Uh, and we have one of my most favorite desks in a very unique way left behind over here. This is again an accountancy desk. Let's look at this one closely. A few pieces in here. You see the first date coming back. 2014, the last date this person lived in this place before he unfortunately passed away. Some pictures, most likely of a vacation. I'm literally in love with this desk. Pictures all above there. And there's the, then to this side, we have this religious depiction on the wall of Jesus Christ hanging on the cross. These tiles are all loose, but I think they have a special meaning and they are not in here because just decoration. They probably are worth a lot of money. Otherwise they wouldn't have put them like this in this room. Oh my God, have a look at this one. This is a portable telephone from back in the day. Wow, you would carry this heavy duty machine around. And this would be your telephone, actually. My father told me how it works. And even down here, we have another one. You can see the horn would be in here to the side. And this would be your transmission device. Maybe it's from the World War. Who knows? Another 
incredible statue and more of these amazing paintings above it. Let's have a look through the doors. Welcome into the magnificent dining area. Wow. Let me close off this door. And let me tell you also something. Oh, let's see how this works. Oh, this doesn't work anymore. A wonderful blue and gold door face, as you can see. Wonderfully designed. But, oh, I have not looked properly around this room. It's a fascinating piece. Wow. <laughs> this is one of the most beautiful dining rooms that I've literally ever seen. You wouldn't even find something like this in a museum. I love this one very, very much. It depicts a Victorian woman sitting in front of her vanity and doing her makeup. Wow. Even this divider screen behind it. What a beautiful painting. I love these kinds of paintings. They depict the former lives of the people that once lived in these places. Here we see a letter from Dr. Jean Denis. Glaze. So this was a letter from the man himself. Wow, so one of her statues on there. Look at this intrigue cabinet that we have over here with all the different door drawers in there. Wow, there's nothing left in these drawers. But it's such a wonderful piece. I love how it's designed. And then here to the side. They used to hang a painting, but it's not there anymore. It's completely gone. And then a big bust of a woman's face left here. <laughs> we have the incredibly, incredibly beautiful and intriguingly designed fireplace with the mirror above it. <sighs> so we have the sitting area over here. You can see this fully upholstered chair with different kinds of fibers all around it. So the person would sit in here in the evening, just gonna depict how the person would live in this place. And his nice fancy clothing, his feet on the rest over there, in front of the fireplace, most likely it was lit up, just enjoying himself, maybe drinking a cup of coffee or another liquor or something like that. Would have been a fantastic sight living in a place like this. The fireplace is so beautifully designed. You got these faces on either side carved, sort of faces made entirely from copper. Wow. Fire screen in front of the fireplace. An emblem of the family yet again in there. The last ashes of the people are still in the fireplace. And then we have the grand facade with the paintings next to the mirror and a mirror above there, beautifully carved with two children in there. Look at this one. The statue, child being silent. Wow. This is something that's completely crumbling away over here. I'm looking at it, but there's maybe a piece of something that fell down over the years that this place was abandoned. Crazy, how can somebody leave so many things behind without notice? These people must be billionaires to do something like that. Literally, billionaires. We have some amazing upholstery chairs here to the side with gold plating all around them. You can see here on the rest, there's a man fishing. And then this wall clock. I'm gonna say it, this is the most beautiful one I've ever seen. Beautiful clock face, completely made from gold. Joseph Gural, it says on there, a poussin. And in this one, we have a painting worked into it. That's what makes this one so special for me. Some chairs all around the room. The same ones as we just saw. And over here, we have a checkers board. 
with the owners of this place used to play checkers. It's a game that I don't know. I'm really good at chess, but checkers I have never played actually. Wow, more of these incredible upholstery chairs. Great intrigue design on them. Look over here. Wow, this one is heavy. It's made from wood, but it's incredibly heavy. The artist's name is on here. You have Jesus laying in front of it. Wow. And this, unfortunately, the display cabinet is just completely smashed by somebody. And maybe they took out some things of here. Wow, look at this. This is like a mechanism that you would put onto something, like a clamp. So many different things. I want to open it up. Oh no, it's 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 closed. That's maybe why somebody smashed it. There's some combs down there. I love this one. Let me check out this one. Then we have this divider screen over here to the side. Again, one of the most beautiful ones that I've ever seen. And it blends in with the room, with the gold accents. You can see over there, every single face of this one is completely designed into detail. A sofa here to the side, where the people could sit and rest in the evening. My costume matches with it. <laughs> wow. French countryside painting. This is actually a very, very big painting. And it depicts the form of farming lives of the people that lived in France. And then we have this corner over here. Such an incredible corner again. First off, this set where uh, the owners had some liquors in, on display for when guests came over. They could take this out, place this on the table. You have to be very careful with this. These are all such expensive things. You could close it up fully like that. Close the sides. You could take this like this. And maybe you can e even take it hunting or something. And then when you close this one up, it doesn't work anymore. Then you had like this box with liquor inside. And look at the front, there are even stones worked into there. Okay. And then we have a few paintings above here. Of a man looking very seriously. But you can see in the window of his house, there's an angel on display. See the gold crown above our head few beautiful paintings and then we have this one over here of the same woman that we just saw in front of the vanity but now she's reading a book again another accountancy desk this one is much bigger than the last one we saw there's this bracelet left behind that the woman would wear proudly Okay, a lot of keys in here. Wow. And then next to the accountancy desk, we have this statue, this religious statue. This one is amazing, but it's cracking up as you can see. Just goes through there. And then in the middle of the room, it's actually the most special. We have the table with the marble top the upholstery chairs around it and an incredible chandelier above it wow <laughs> i'm speechless literally speechless about this one how it looks the colors on there the white that blends with the yellow and the blue so subtle but so amazing and that leads us into the next room of the place. And this is again, everybody, another dining area. Wow. But the first thing I see over there is the corner. I'm gonna walk straight to it. 
show you this piece first. This is some sort of a resting area for the owners with a chassis long in the middle of it where they could just lay down and rest out. Maybe read a nice book or something like that. Here in the middle of the room, we have the fireplace. And we were talking about fire screens, but this, to my opinion, is one of the most beautiful fire screens that you can find in an abandoned place. It can fold up like this. I'm not gonna fully do it because it seems a little bit broken, but you could fold it up and put it to the side. And then you had this amazing display piece of a fire screen. So we have the marble fireplace and a statue on top of there of a woman with a child. Wow, a mirror above there with a castle, French castle. And yet again, around this room, many, many paintings and pictures are displayed. Drawings, pictures, paintings, everything is on the wall. In here, you have some sort of a display um, statue and there would be there's some sort of a face in here. This face is the same as this one. So maybe they're complementary. I love how this one is designed. Then show around. They all look like drawings actually when I look closer at them. All look like drawings. And then we have the mirror above the bed here, above the chassis long, like I call it. Over here in the corner, the walking canes are left behind. Very narrow ones, not really that sturdy. Then above you, have you showed that incredible chandelier? Wow. And from this window, the people would be standing, looking over the garden. The ivy is growing on the window over the years. Okay. Now we have one more corner in this room. A little display stand with some statues and more paintings and uh, more pictures. And then we come into another dining area. And this seems to be more like the grand dining area where the family came together. They had these stops where servants would serve food to the people. They're incredibly heavy. That's how it would work in a castle like this. Above the table, we have this enormous chandelier left behind. Literally very beautiful. Even faces worked into it. I thought at first that this was another window leading back to the first room, but it's actually not. It's just a mirror. And I don't know if it even can open up, but it opens up to reveal all the plates and cups. Look at these coffee cups that these people had. Wow, Japanese coffee cups. Another marble statue. And I love these kind of benches. Triple dividing, separate chairs worked into one bench. And above it, we have this enormous, the beautiful painting of a woman who looks pretty sad. Another face of a man here on the wall, here standing. salt dispenser just looked at this one and this looks like maybe one of the owners of the former inhabitants of this place wow a depiction again of a woman maybe the woman designed this place and was like i want to put women into this room and give this room feeling we have another statue white marble Completely carved. 
Not a drawing of a man. Dihan Green, it says over here. Here would be knives and forks inside. Oh, so many things to look at. And then we have one more side to this room with even more paintings over here. Wow, look above the door. We have not seen that yet. Oh, huge plate again, completely carved. Amazing. Look at this man sitting here, thinking. It seems like it's falling off, so I'm gonna put it back a little bit. And then yet again to this side, we have another one of those display sets with all these different glasses in there um, that they could take with them, maybe hunting or something else. Above there, another farm land, French farmland. Okay. Have I showed you this one? This key doesn't seem to work. Down here are all the plates for the fancy dinner that the people would give all the china. English china, English porcelain it says on here. English porcelain, everybody. Here we come into the hallway of the place. Let me open the door over for you. Seems like we have a stairway that leads downstairs to some area. I think to the basement, maybe the wine cellar. On the wall, the first thing that I noticed was this man. He looks like a homeless person actually. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm wrong. More drawings on the wall. Look at this. He looks like a very important politician from back in the day. Above here, depicted. And then a saint down below, completely designed in gold. Let's look at this room. Oh, it's just the kitchen. Very, very ordinary. But people also needed to eat. Oh, look at here. We have some pictures of the people that might have lived in here. These might have been the children of Claire. Okay. I want to take a stroll down that stairway. You can go in front of me if you want. Let's go down. Where does this lead to? Even here in the basement, I see paintings. Oh my God. Even in the basement, they had rooms all around. Look at this that we're ending up in. It's like some sort of a sitting area, but just in the basement of this place. Blue chandelier above here, upholstery chairs all around, and even a carved statue to the side. Crazy. I'm looking to find the wine cellar actually, because that has to be in this house. <laughs> oh my god. Look over here where we're entering into. Another kitchen area. Wow. You can see all the plates all around the walls of this place. Beautiful china. And this looks like Delft or French china. Huge wine bowls to the side where they used to store wine in. Oh my God. Just pan around, show the people all the plates that are on the wall in here. Wow. 
And then in front of us here, we have this amazing, just amazing stove. Maurice. It's actually not that old. And it is a wood stove that you would fire up and cook on. I think this is a fairly newer part of the house that they put in. Don't know what these things to the side are. And I thought at first thought that they were stoves, but they actually are not. Okay. Down to this side, we have the oven to cook with. Of different things in here. Okay, some knives. All different things. Let's see what's left behind in this wonderful place. Okay, already we see more paintings on the side here. And you also can see the mold. Over the last six years that this place has been abandoned and nobody has been in here. Beautiful paintings again on the walls of this castle. And these, I assume, were storage areas of the house where the people used to store different artifacts. <laughs> Is this a bison head or something like that? I have no clue. We also have a gate that leads to a stairway that seems to be completely locked, unfortunately. Wow. Here we have another storage area where they even stored an enormous painting on this side. Ah, what I was looking for. Every castle, of course has its wine cellar. Excuse me for the glass that's raking beneath my feet. Here you can see all the different kind of bottle of wine, champagne, and other type of types of liquor that are, have been left behind. For example, this bottle over here is from 1973. There's even mold on the bottles that are in this basement. 1971. All still completely filled to the brim. This wine cellar is actually quite big. Wow. More of these drawings on the wall of a woman. And in here, there most likely would have been a statue, but it's not here anymore. And another painting on the wall. Okay, let's see. This seems to be locked. After some thorough looking at this door, I figured out together with Jeroen how it functions. Yeah. And you just have to pull this little lever here, and then you can open up the door. I'm just gonna do it with my nice shoe. And then we are in the bath area of the house, I believe. It's the front porch. Oh my God. Have a look here on the wall at all these antler heads that are left behind. These are most likely trophies from the man when the man went out hunting. Wow. They look totally amazing. And you can see the moss here is covering the tiles. It's raining inside and nobody really cares about this place anymore. How sad is that reality? We even had like this little bar area here at the end of the spa. Oh my God. And this place would look over the garden. And then we even have an indoor swimming pool left behind that's now completely green, just completely green. Even a little statue at the end there and the tree is already growing inside. Wow. 
<laughs> he even had a gym area in this part of the house. Very fascinating to see. Look at this. Good workout. Stay in shape. What's this last part? Wow. The sauna area with a shower and everything left here. Oh my God, the Finnish or Swedish sauna you have left here. Here we could sit in together as family at the end of a long working day as a doctor and a wine farmer as well. Okay, everybody, we come back through the museum and then we walk straight into the hallway. Look at this. And we're first gonna take a stroll downstairs because we're gonna cover that area first before we venture up there and show you the bedrooms where these people once used to sleep. Here on the walls of this hallway are numerous paintings scattered on each and every wall. I have a port somewhere in France. Look at this tinted glass window that we see here in the hallway. And the first thing I notice on it is this family crest. It's exactly the same one as we saw on the fireplace. And there's even a knight above it. two angels to the sides of this window. That leads us everybody into the basement. Wow. And the first thing I notice in this basement is the grand piano to the side of it. Is this actually a piano? I'm not 100% sure, but it seems to be locked. Yeah, this must be a piano. Definitely, there are pedals down below, but it maybe would collapse outside and then you could play on it. A lush landscape depicted over here. Wow. And here in the corner of the room, we have two upholstery chairs sitting there. I also love the intrigue design of this stairway that leads all the way to the top of this castle. Just such a fascinating design. And have like this marble handrest at the beginning of the stairway down here. Even a rug covering every single step of it. And there's one more room here in the basement. And this seems to be the working room where the maids would be. All the bed linen, towels and everything is still in here. But even some paintings and pictures here to the side. Wow, lovely colors on there. The washer and dryer. And here at the end, we have some sort of a bathroom. So let's now make our way up this winding staircase to the top floor and show you what's left behind here. On the walls of this staircase, we have numerous paintings left behind, depicting religious being back in the day. Wow, have a look at this. The same tinted window coming back up there. We have a very important, maybe Roman man, left here, painted on the wall of this place. I want to show you that tinted glass window up there. It's completely the same as the one down below. 
has the same R on there. And as well, the dog with the crests. Wow. And then we come on the top floor where we have this chandelier hanging here in the hallway. What gets me really sad is to see that there is mold on the walls. That's probably gonna consume the paintings that are down below there. Here on the wall, we have a lush landscape left behind. A waterfall, amazing to see. And then everybody, on this side, we have the hallway that to either side, on either wall, has tens of paintings. Such, such an amazing sight to behold when you're standing here. But first, let's head into the first bedroom of this place. And that's the one to the right of us. Wow, amazing piece. We close the door behind me. Let me show you this bedroom. Oh my God. And the first thing you notice when you get into this bedroom is that there are hundreds and hundreds of coins left on this desk here. Wonderful. This was the desk and I think this was also a child's bedroom. It's a very small bed and must have been a child's bedroom. See the desk over here with the greenery on there, completely made from wood. There's a waiver on top of here. Wow. Completely deteriorating away. A box where some most likely some jewelry has been inside back in the day. On the walls of the place, we again have numerous paintings, drawings and depictions of former life hanging here. I just love this sleigh bed that's in the middle of the room. And as you can see, probably can't see it, but it's raised a little bit off the floor. Wow. The nightstand right next to it. Depicting again a Hinduistic, we saw Japanese art, Hinduistic art, African art, all different styles. Chandelier hanging here in the middle of the room, wonderful piece. And then the bed still made from when the child used to sleep here. On the walls of this bedroom, we can have numerous paintings hanging. Let's look over here. I assume, yes, this is the bathroom. Wow, what a masterpiece. We have the bathroom with a bathtub in the middle of it, all made for the child that used to sleep here. And as you can see, it's a very, very small bathtub. Walls are cracking down, ceilings. It must, must cost a lot of money if you want to try to restore this place. The toilet to the side. And over here in this corner, we have a golden clock left behind. Wow. Bite in the sink as well. The beautiful gold mirror above it. I also forgot to point out in this room, this wonderful upholstery chair that we have here in the corner, sitting and waiting. Beautiful red accents with flowers on there. Wow. And let's see in a wardrobe if there are any clothes left behind. No, there aren't, but there are many, many artifacts and different kinds of art left in here. You would expect something like this in a museum, but not in an abandoned house. Okay, let's exit the room and go back into the hallway. And let's venture now into this room over here. And this seems to be one of the first big bedrooms. Oh no, this uh, 
ends up into some sort of a relaxing area actually. A wonderful chandelier again in the middle of this room. We have some sort of a slate bed design, lounging chair, sofa here in the corner with these blue cushions. Blue seems to become again in this house a lot. They, they loved subtle colors all throughout this place. And I think this was a girl's bedroom because of the blue and because of all the drawings of women with clothing on, beautiful clothing. We have this painting of a girl painting. And then above there is this wonderful lamp with roses worked into it. Wow. More of these drawings of women posing in different positions. positions. Above the door, a girl staring into the distance, naked somewhere on a blanket. And then we have this cabinet here in the middle of the room that's been starting to completely rot away on this side, as you can see. Let's see if this one is open. Yes, it is. And over here, we have the first clothing of the people that once lived here. This jacket, the ties of the person. Wow. And then to the side of the room, we got some sort, something that looks like a vanity, but it looks more like a little bureau to study at. But in front of you, you had this amazing mirror. So I think, yeah, it would be used as a vanity, definitely. It's now been crumbling apart. There's some booklets on here. Oh, this seems like a book. It's actually not a book. It holds something. Okay, I think you would put this like this in a bookcase. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> you can open it up and take the book out, but it doesn't want to come out anymore. You can see. It's just the cover for a book. And then above there, with the mirror, with the intrigue design on there. Just fascinating. The sides of it, also very beautiful. Another one of those cabinets. And then we have a room over to this side. Drawings on the wall again. And this was the bathroom of this side of the house. Every single bedroom, of course, had its own bathroom in a castle like this. Wow, a very big sink at the end of here. Flies are already covering it after all these years. I look at my place in this house, I think. Above the mirror, we have intrigue design coming back again. Even a little unopened bottle of limoncello standing here. Then again, a bathtub. All the soaps, the scrubbers and everything still in there. And the sides of it are completely made of marble. Wow, and let's head over now. Because I think at the end of this room would have been the bedroom. First got a few more things left over here on this table. And as well, a display cabinet. Lovely to see. Let's head over to this room. Oh my god, I immediately see one of those amazing chandeliers coming back in this room as well. Like I told you, the subtle blue designs with the colors are present all throughout the house, throughout the castle. And then we have a built-in bed into the wall. Wonderful. Still made after all those years. Gonna center the frame. You can see to either side of it, it had like a built in wardrobe where you could walk inside. And then above the bed, 
there is a depiction of Jesus Christ hanging from the cross. Look at his face over there. Oh my God. This would have been the bedroom. An angel to the side here. On either side. And then let's walk in one of these. And you can see immediately somebody has tried to break the, the, the safe that's in this room. They probably still hold some valuables. Very expensive items maybe. Even if you see what's left behind in this house. We have a fireplace with a television in front of it. Very thick and bulky television. Fireplace behind it, completely made out of marble. I love the mirror that's above it. It depicts a woman on a farmland, a sheep coming to say hello to her, a dog right next to her. And here we have Claire again, going back in this room. Mr. Claire, the doctor of the household. If you open up all these shutters, you could look out over the whole property and see the far farmlands and the wine fields that are behind the house. They have a little lounging chair as well in this room. I love this upholstery chair that's here to the side. A statue hanging from the wall. And this again looks like an African made statue. Then to the corner of the room, we also have this drawer. It has a wave waveform design on there. All the mouses and everything still in there. Wonderful piece. But above it, again, an enormous painting. And then we have another walk-in dresser. Where all the shoes... I think Claire used to sleep in this room. You can see all his neat shoes left in this room. All his clothing from the day when he passed away. Wait, so your room calls me. I was just filming. <laughs> Are you serious? Yurun just calls me and I come into this room. Is this a secret doorway? No. Holy shit. <laughs> what? How did you do this? I was making a picture. And look, if it's closed, this one is two planks and this one is one. So hey, you can just pull it. No, no secret books or anything that you have to pull? No. Okay. Can I go in there? Wow, a secret room in the bookcase. What is it? It's a safe. Safe back here. Oh my God. It's like some sort of a religious room with some artifacts left in here. <laughs> Even a Louis Vuitton suitcase. <laughs> Louis this Vuitton. one is expensive. Yeah, that's probably pretty expensive. Some blankets in there. Oh my god, a secret doorway that leads to this room. Okay, let me see what things we have in here. We have this wooden statue. Probably everything in this room must be very, very expensive. We have some artifacts down there. And then on this table, if this looks like some sort of a telescope that they used back in the day. Plates, pots, and these look like archaeological finds, actually. A knife. Oh my god. And we even have to save in this room. What's this? What's in there? There's actually nothing in there, I think. 
No. Wow. Some statues on top of there. All paperwork back here. And this one has a very intrigue locking mechanism. And you could see that you need two keys to open this one up. I think there is still on mini stuff inside. Yes, yeah, probably some valuables inside. Yeah, wow, this was totally unexpected. A secret room inside of this castle. Even a chandelier left in here. Martijn, you want to open up that safe? I want to see what is, what is inside. I think you are equally as me. <laughs> so. That would be sick to see the inside. No key. Wow. There's something inside. And these are definitely artifacts from the ancient times. Archaeological finds. I still can't understand why a place like this is just totally left behind. It's a crazy sight to behold, everybody. I will now show you this intrigue hallway that resides here. And to my opinion, it's one of the most incredible hallways that I've ever seen. Where in the world would you see so many paintings hanging in a hallway? <laughs> I've been exploring for eight years and this is by far my best find ever. Wow, drawings all over the walls made in this castle. I don't know where to look everybody, it's just so much to take in. You should be here with me and experience this with me, but I'm trying to do my best to include you into this explore and make you feel like you're in this castle. Over here we see a knight holding a sword in his left arm, waiting for battle. And it's on top, it's very, very beautiful side table here in the hallway with a mirror behind it wow. then we have two upholstery chairs to the side of it all the things in there a face with flowers Just amazing. Over here we see a French village. Oh, this also could be Venetia. Venetia in, in, in Italy. A painting of a painting being made. Incredible. And that's the stairway that's gonna lead us later up to the top floor, up to the attic. But first, let's venture into this room. And you can already see a couch that's completely overthrown in this room. But again, so many beautiful things to look at. Wow. First off, an amazing chandelier in this room. And then a painting on a stand. Maybe it wasn't even finished back then. And it looks upside down over here. Wow. wow. Here we see Claire again, coming back, playing football. And then one of the first cars, probably these people that lived here, could afford one of these and would be driving around town in their own car back in the beginning of the 1900s. A very, very important man painted here on this, this painting. Then we have these vases that I truly adore. Porcelain vases. Artworks all over coming back. This one seems to be completely closed. Not gonna open it up. But have a look at the device that I'm seeing here down below. These were stamped plates that you could buy back in the day. And they hold the music notes in these stamped plates. 
and it would play around and these devices here to the side they would music and create a symphony symphonion what a wonderful box are we looking at <laughs> you could close it up Okay, I just, I just started it somehow. I don't want it to play. Oh my God, it played music. That's totally amazing. And now we have this horse here to the side where the children could ride on throughout the house. Here you see one of the owners driving a Ferrari back in the day and Glare himself staring into the distance. And this room that we're standing in right now would have been an upstairs lounging area again. So many sitting places all throughout the house. We have an enormous mirror again with two beautiful vases underneath. These are the same ones as we just saw, probably completely handmade. Then the fireplace underneath with two lions on either side of it. Fantastic. I'm still shocked that the music box played for me. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's go back into the hallway. Let's check out another room of this place. I see that we have two more bedrooms to either side of us. Let's go first into this one. Let's check it out. Again, an amazing channel here above the bed here. We have this blue bed underneath it. Wonderful blue. Uh, oh, what, what am I seeing? A green bed. <laughs> I've been filming too long, everybody. Filming too long. Cushion still on there. And if you rub your hand over it, you can see the pattern coming in there. Above the bed again, an enormous painting. Then we have some nightstands, statues on there, a woman playing an instrument. Oh, look at the mold covering the wall and consuming the painting. This naked lady we have here on the wall. It's just crazy to see. We have another accountancy desk to the side. Okay. Look how it's covering everything here. Channel here. And then we have another drawer. Here in the corner of the room. Let's open this one up. This one has all these locks on there. It's again completely empty. Apart with a few paintings, another lady smiling at us. A blue chair, completely upholstered. covering the paintings on this side and then we come yet again into another bathroom but yet again its own bathtub a toilet right next to it can't get enough of this place literally can't and have a look over here this is the same castle as we saw coming back downstairs so it might have also been family property back in the day well or maybe now still family property let's open up this last room and i can already see that it's totally amazing wow you even have a bureau in this bedroom have a look at that isn't that just crazy handwritten notes from 1888, probably not from 1888, but these are handwritten notes. 
left here some more collection on top of here wow. then they had this upholstery chair behind the desk here completely designed into detail and we're looking at this amazing bedroom chandelier above the bed wonderful chandelier and the bedroom itself a slate bed still made after all these years of abandonment i love the form of these beds they are very typical for the time and you see them coming back only in france i don't see them anywhere else in other countries they're very very typical to the country of france i might have seen them in a few places in other countries but not much here we have another upholstery chair in the corner these are very numerous around the house above the bed is another enormous painting a drawer with many many more artifacts but what catches my eye first is the dried bird here to the side of it oh that looks creepy that looks totally creepy statues all over it again. You think they have found this somehow? Oh my God. And a mirror above it again, completely designed out of copper. And then we enter into the last bed a bathroom of this place. And this one has a chandelier hanging in the middle of the bathroom. sink area where you could wash yourself in the evening brush your teeth and do everything fantastic this looks like a vanity here to the side as well one last look at this bedroom before i show you the attic We have one last room to cover up here, upstairs. I just forgot it. Let's go in here. And we have yet another amazing room to behold. Come inside, come inside. Okay. I don't know what this room was used for. But you can, a few paintings of a man looking very seriously, probably a politician. And underneath it, you have this coffee table with birds on there, beautiful colors. Wow. And indeed, we have a pheasant with his child, its children. And then as well in this room, we have a hall tree with a jacket made out of animal skin. Bond, we call it. Wow. Incredible. Marble top on there. That, oh, I want to say something else about this jacket. Nowadays, it's it's not, yeah, accepted anymore to make a jacket out of this fur. Back in the day, people used to wear it, especially very rich people. Wow. Another chair here in the corner. And a knight carved into there. I love this little sink that we have here to the side. Unfortunately, the water doesn't run anymore. But look at the intrigue design that's all around it. And even the carving on the sink itself, on the faucet itself, it looks like a dragon carved in there. Fascinating. Think this is a toilet now? Yes, it is. Look at the toilet. Even in the toilet, they have paintings hanging. Okay, and then we have one more thing here, and that's this 
beautiful statue with all these animals carved into there. We have a snake up here, owls all around, and I love the colors on this one as well. They're fascinating. And up here, wow, creme de la creme. Beautiful painting of a young woman, young girl, holding some flowers. The colors are so fine and so subtle. I can stare at this one forever. Wow. Let's now take a stroll upstairs. So everybody, follow me because we're going to do the last level of this house. The attic. Martijn is going to help me again. And uh, we're going to venture up this stairway again to the top floor. And on the walls, you can see more of these drawings coming back all throughout. There are probably maybe even a thousand paintings scattered throughout this house. And we are already a very far way up the castle. And it seems like we are entering into the last rooms of this place, unfortunately. But we're still going to show you these in great, great detail. The first thing we see is that the whole castle looks very neat, but only this floor is a bit overthrown. Okay, <laughs> I'm also almost falling. If you, if you can manage, follow me. I will just show the last parts of this place. So, first off we come here. The roof is totally broken here. Even the rain, it's raining outside. It's coming inside of here. It's very sad to behold. We have a little sitting area left here with some upholstery chairs here in the middle of the room. And then right next to here, we have another vanity slash drawer, whatever it would have been left behind. This one seems to be locked up. Can't open it up anymore. I'm gonna put it here. We have this girl with an eagle on her hand looking both in the same direction into the distance. Still a few coins in here. Francs, half a franc. Okay. Very, very small doorway that leads us into one of the towers of the castle. This one doesn't have circular towers, but it has square towers. And this was one of the towers where most likely one of the children would have slept. You can see a still made bed over here. Over there on the wall. Another amazing painting. I'm gonna open up one of these windows. It's raining really harshly outside. As you can see the child could have looked over the mountainside in the back. Close this up neatly again. Don't want to destroy the castle any more than it already has. This one seems to be locked. But again, it's being eaten up by termites. If you look closely here, you can see this. Duck down a little bit. Ooh. Oh my God, it's not so interesting there. Now we have an upstairs hallway. You're okay, man. <laughs> yeah. I see you falling behind me. <laughs> oh, we have an upstairs hallway over here that leads into a few rooms left up here. I think these ones used to also be bedrooms, but have been turned into something else. Definitely art storage rooms. As you can see, so many paintings just left here and scattered here all around. Oh, such a sad sight to behold. But on this side, we can see some of the tools that Mr. Glenn uh, used as a doctor. Wow. Even his pipe that he used to smoke still left here. We saw him downstairs with a pipe in his mouth on a picture. And this might have been that pipe. There is his full toolkit that he used to work the patients with. I love this depiction over here. This is in France. Le Cornomont du Roy. 
and it depicts, I think, a parliament, people sitting around, or a stock exchange of something like that. Wow. Oh, this room is just fascinating to behold. The first thing we see in this room is this bureau setup with all the books around it. And then we have this globe that can, can turn around in every single direction, as you can see. Wonderful piece. A set. It opens up to reveal a shaver some different artifacts. I'm wondering what these top floors would be used for. I think maybe for studying. We see a suitcase to travel the world with. These people were very rich and then most likely traveled the entire globe. We have even a holster of a gun left behind here. Okay, more things to this side of the room. Not so very interesting painting that's completely deteriorated. A map of Mediterranean. Wow. The house is completely falling apart over the years. Here are a little bit newer magazines left behind. Racing La Twingo RS. This one is from October 2008. Then people still used to live in this place. This place. We even have floppy disks left here. <laughs> Going back through the hallway upstairs here, we have another one of those upholstery benches. And as you can see, this one has the same design as the smaller ones that we saw downstairs. But here they have the bigger version of it. Maybe two for one somewhere. <laughs> the depiction of a Victorian time, the Napoleon time. People sitting in a park, enjoying themselves. Have we a few more storage rooms with some clothing in there. Not many more things to see. Okay. I want to get... Here we have one last one. Go inside. Oh my God. This is terrible. Yeah, the window is just open. Wow. <coughs> Come. You, you good? We go upstairs. We go into the tower now. Okay. <laughs> you see how deteriorated this place is from this room. This even still. Oh my god. This leads to the top of the castle. <laughs> Okay, I will be too exposed if I go up there, so I'm not gonna do it. So much rain. Let's close that back up. Wow, everybody, what a fantastic castle that we just explore. Never in my wildest dreams I could imagine exploring and filming a place like this. And yes, we just did it. <laughs> I hoped you enjoyed this magnificent tour throughout this castle. 
from this fine young man who is dressed up and gives you a great tour throughout it. If you like this week's video, please like it, subscribe to the channel and write a nice comment about what you thought about such an abandoned place and if you would buy it. And there's also a link in the description for Patreon. They can help support the channel and help us get around the world to explore more of these amazing places. With that all said, I will end off this incredible explore and I will see you next week with another adventure. Bye bye. I love you very, very much. Thank <sighs> you.